Hey everyone, wanted to talk about some rods today. Um, I'm out here in the Delta in one of the irrigation canals fishing today. Um, kind of still muddy, but figured I'd give it a shot anyways. Never know what you're gonna dig up. Um, brought a couple rods with me that I wanted to talk about and give my opinion on them, an honest review of them. Um, you guys might probably know, I've been fishing them for some time now. This is the St. Croix Victory Series rod. Um, this happens to be the Brutus Swimbait Rod. This is the four to eight ounce, um, seven foot 10, extra, extra heavy. And I really like this one for throwing big glides, baits. This is on the lower end of what I'll throw with this. Um, this is about a four and a half ounce bait. Um, but you can see, I'll try and show you guys the tip here. Got plenty of tip but really got a ton of backbone there. I mean, this thing is stout. So when you slam that hook home, you really got a lot. You guys know I like fishing for stripers, so that's another main component for me is I, you really need that really stiff backbone when you really tie into a big striper. Um, really helps to horse her in. But having the softer tip, I think is just as important because now you get to work your bait, right? If you don't have any give up here, you have a really tough time working that bait and that's especially true when you you know you're fishing more finesse baits um, and i'll show you another rod here in a second um, but this is the victory series this is the new line out by st croix um some things i really like about it um, i like the length this is I, I used to fish nine foot rods almost exclusively and bigger rods but i've kind of found if you get the right action you don't need a rod that long um so now these are seven foot ten these are just perfect i can throw them in the bed of my truck i go bank fishing with them i don't feel like they're too big and hung up in trees as i'm casting behind me you know what have you um you look at the rod here the hook keeper it might not seem like a a, a big selling point for a lot of people is, is a hook keeper but someone who fishes braided line exclusively having one of those little loop hook keepers hanging down tends to get in the way sometimes this doesn't get hung up on my braid so i'm not having to deal with fouls or anything like that um it's a, a great way to store big baits and you know some of the smaller hook keepers you have the hook has a hard time getting in them especially when you're running big treble hooks this one on the other hand i can just drop it right in i mean this will hold any size hook jig hook anything um so I really like that. The rear real seat, very comfortable. I happen to have on a trigger happy comfort grip um, just because I'm gonna be casting all day. But the real seat, very comfortable. Um, this is a 300 series reel and it doesn't, it feels like nothing in my hand and I don't have the biggest hands in history. Um, very comfortable foam up front. Um, and let's talk down at the butt. Really nice cork, very tight. Um, you know, I don't feel like it's going to chunk out like some other inferior cork. And then I really like the tapered handle, especially when you're working big baits that rods tucked underneath your arm and really lets you feel the rod. Number one, you can feel the blank through here. I mean, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but you can feel the blank, um, but it tucks nicely under, especially when you're winching on big baits, um, or fighting a fish, the elongated butt really helps you get a grip on it so when you do cast um, you get a nice solid pivot point down here um yeah i've been fishing this rod for a, it's close to a year now um and i i love it i love it this is the, probably this one and the i think it's two to five ounce rod are the two rods that i pull out the most um either for big glides or for top water and that's what I'm throwing probably 95% of the time. There is another rod here in the series that I've been fishing a lot. And this is their full contact model. It's still a St. Croix, still the Victory Series. But this is the full contact model. And this is seven foot four heavy, um, fast action. And it's rated three eighths to one and a half ounce. So I throw stuff like this jerk bait. Um, this is a little lighter than what I normally throw, but I needed to throw something finesse. 
you'll see I'm still throwing 80 pound braid. I don't shy away from the 80 pound braid. 200 series reel. Um, fits like a glove in the palm of your hand. Um, can't go wrong. Still has all the same features, right? It has the EVA foam um, four end right there, the tight cork. You can see, I put this cork through its paces. I mean, this thing has seen some use and abuse. Now the hook keeper on this one's different. It's much further back, which is nice because now you don't have anything up here to get hung up um, for these small baits when you cast. But this is that loop I was talking about where I don't like that up above the reel because my line tends to get wrapped up in that. Um, but back here, it's no problem. So this is a great spot for a hook keeper like this, especially when you have smaller baits. That's a, uh, sorry, we're gonna have a plane go overhead. The, uh, I really like the butt of this one too, um, especially on these shorter rods. I use this rod a lot for frogging. Um, and this, this smaller butt, really helps one up. number one get a good grip on this really helps you wing it out there maybe this plane will go away I'm sorry um, but number two you can feel everything through here I mean this blank is connected all the way up to the top um, almost I mean the rods look almost identical um, but this rod has a ton of backbone but again nice and soft on the tip that way I can work that frog and I don't feel like I'm struggling or using a broomstick to work a bait. We've all fished those those rods that are so darn thick you can't feel anything through them. Um, but yeah, I use, I pick this one up more times than not for frogging. Um, I just happen to have a jerk bait tied on because I was going after some finicky fish. Um, but I use, you know, spinner baits with this, frogs, jigs. I've even punched with this in a pinch. It's a little bit lighter than what I usually use to punch, but in a pinch I've used it. Um, but all around great rod. I can't say enough good things about them. They come in all different sizes, all different powers. So you can you can really tune exactly what you need and how you fish. But it's they're phenomenal rods, especially for the price point. And you're getting a whole lot of rod that I would expect from a higher end rod in a very affordable package. So definitely check those out. Um, you won't go wrong. I've replaced almost everything with them. I fish exclusively St. Cory rods now, and I could not be happier with them. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Let me know. I'll answer everything I can. Um, super excited on these rods, and I think you will too. Um, they've really changed the way that I fish. A lot, very versatile.